in today's adventure. We're all hooked up. We're about to leave the Colorado Springs KOA holiday on our next leg of our journey to Cody, Wyoming. And while I got you guys here, if you could hit that subscribe button, I really would appreciate the support. And you're gonna wanna tune in, cause like I've said in the other videos, we're going to Cody, Wyoming. I'm gonna be work camping at the Cody KOA holiday for the summer season. And we're gonna be exploring Yellowstone National Park and showing you guys things to do in Yellowstone and Cody. That's why I'm calling this season the Yellowstone Summer of Adventure 2024. Uh, it's early, but, and we're gonna have some traffic to battle in Colorado Springs, definitely some traffic to battle in Denver, but we're headed to Casper, Wyoming, and we're gonna show y'all a really neat spot once we're in Casper that we're gonna be boondocking at for tonight. But enough vlogging, let's hit the road. Hopefully I'll be able to give you guys some road trip uh, video, but if the traffic's too crazy, I'm not gonna be recording, but there will be road trip video, so enjoy the ride. stopped at the Big Hat 6 Travel Center uh, right outside Casper, Wyoming. I think it's Evansville. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's a huge truck stop. Lots of truck lanes. And they got a really nice trucker lounge. A Sch Schlotzky's Deli. Big old fountain section. They sell lots of like little souvenirs and and they have a, a lounge and restaurant there but one and, and they were very nice people but for all my friends in the RV community if you're looking for a place to boondock and there are a lot of truck stops where you can go boondock as an RV or they they're RV friendly and you can stay overnight at truck stops hat six in Wyoming is not boondock RV friendly yeah you can park and go inside grab something to eat but overnight boondocking is not allowed for RVs it's truck drivers only so if you guys are passing through Wyoming and you need a place to boondock it's not gonna happen at the hat six but we're gonna get in the truck and we're gonna head into Casper and we're gonna try to boondock at the Walmart there and see what happens. And I'll let you guys know if we're able to do it or not. But that's it for now. All right, everybody. That's gonna be the end of this day. It was kind of a okay drive day. There was a couple little rough moments, but I can definitely see how from Cheyenne to Casper, wind can be an, a real big issue it looks like new mexico kind of west texas kind of big rolling prairies and stuff like that nothing to block the wind and we got lucky we got this wind window it was just five ten miles an hour if that it was like no wind which from what i understand doesn't happen a whole lot in that little stretch of road uh there was a couple bad little spots in the road but it was just kind of another long stressful day it's been a long stressful week for me but that's gonna be about it we're at the casper east rv park and it's a little small bare bones little campground it looks like it's kind of an older campground and one thing the lady that checked us in was extremely nice i mean by far as far as front desk people go she was the nicest check-in front desk lady that we've dealt with at any rv park for my rv rv community out there one thing you need to know about casper casper is not boondock friendly 
for RVers. There is a city ordinance against boondocking, overnight parking, the Walmart here, no overnight parking. So like I said, it's a city ordinance and you're really gambling on whether or not you're gonna get a knock on the door in the middle of the night and, be, and being told to move on. A lot of places we've traveled through, Colorado and, uh, and and i think new mexico are going to that i think that the problem is there's a lot of squatters that are taking up residence in these people's parking lots and then they have a hard time getting rid of them and i think that's what's going on but the, this is gonna be it for this one uh i'll show you the little uh let me show you the little spot we're at uh i gonna say just bare bones little campground gravel spot they got a nice it looks like a brand new little table and we only thing we got down on the front jacks so i'm staying hooked up uh the sewer passes the thread test even though i'm not gonna be hooking up the sewer but it's uh like i said it's a, it's a nice little campground good for an overnight and can't beat the nice lady at check-in but that's it if you like this video please give me a thumbs up don't forget hit that subscribe button ring the bell for notifications because we're almost to cody one more day and we'll get to the cody koa holiday and the yellowstone summer of adventure 2024 will begin so that's it for now thank you so much for watching and as we say in louisiana les bon temps roulé. let the good times roll Y'all all drive safe out there and I'll see you next time on the road.